Hey everyone, I'm Jenna. And I'm Sam. And, and this, this is Harbinger Headlines. Headlines. We want to wish a happy birthday to... This is the first episode of Season 2 of Harbinger Headlines. The Harbinger staff is excited for the upcoming year. In other news, the club fair is today. There are so many clubs at Zionsville, so make sure to check them all out. And don't forget to check out the Harbinger booth, too. For student drivers, remember to park in the right place. In the senior slash staff lot, student parking has white lines and staff parking has yellow lines. Also, all student drivers need a parking tag. Please see Mrs. Duffy in the main office for the form. Eagle Fest is tonight, followed by the first home football game. Make sure to come out and support the Eagles. We asked senior Brent Lanham about tonight's game. Um, I think we're just going to plan to get the crowd really hype. It's the first game and it's always neon themed and hopefully we'll have a little surprise, but I don't know, we'll see. This year we've got some big plans. We know for a fact it's going to be better than last year. Uh, so this first neon night, you know, we've got uh, 30 pounds of powder right now. We spent over $120 on that. Uh, you know, we've got some more money in the budget, so more's coming. Wow, I can't wait for tonight. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> I know. Now to Noah McCarty Slaughter with the weather. Hey, Eagles. I hope everyone's had a great first two weeks of school. I'm Noah from the Harbinger coming at you live from outside the school. Today it's partly cloudy with a high of 81. Tonight it'll get down, so make sure you wear layers at Eagle Fest tonight. Tomorrow there will be scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon and early evening. On Sunday it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 86. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why is North Korea so good at drawing straight lines? Because they have a supreme ruler. Back to you. Thanks, Noah. Now to Aaron Patterson with sports highlights. This week in sports, the girls' volleyball team defeated possible sectional opponent McCutcheon three games to one in their first home game of the season. This upcoming season is going to be really exciting, and we have a lot of talent on the team, and we have a really good shot at going to state this year. So if you guys could come out and support us, that'd be awesome, and the matches are going to be super exciting. So go Eagles! The boys' soccer team beat rival Carmel last Saturday three to one, avenging last season's loss to them. The goals were courtesy of Minor, Greason, and Hicks. Football plays tonight against Pike in their first home game of the season. If it's anything like the other teams this week, it should be wins across the board. Oh, I didn't see you there. Game tonight. Go Eagles, 7.30. Be there. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. We are the Zionsville Eagles. Have a football Friday!